So today is a big day for Activision because they dropped their DLC finally, and there's really no way to tell how it's performing. I, I went and looked at the charts I can look at. There's the Steam chart. Keep in mind that this is probably the least played platform for Call of Duty. It typically sells, I think, better on consoles. But as of an hour ago, 40,000 were playing. That's pretty low for a new DLC drop. Pretty low. Uh, it's kind of sad, really. All-time peak of 488,000. 24-hour peak was 65,000. That's probably because when the shit dropped at night, people jumped on and played it. But there is another thing that we can check, and that's Twitch. What are people watching the most right now? And it's still Diablo at the top, followed by Valorant. I've never heard of that game. Apparently people like it, though, because it's got 131,000 people watching it. And then you've got Counter-Strike, Fortnite, Rust, Grand Theft Auto V, and then finally Call of Duty Warzone. Still 106,000 people watching it. However, I will say that when a game has brand new DLC out, you would expect it to be at the top, and it's not. Here's just everything. This is every category. And when you do that and you bring in, of course, hot tubs and just chatting and ASMR, <laughs> Call of Duty Warzone drops a little bit further. ASMR only has 9,000 people watching it. Let's, let's short, sort this to high to low. There we go. That looks a little bit better. So not much of a change. Uh, but you would think that Warzone would be a little higher up. Like I said, you would think it'd be closer to the top because it just had new stuff drop for it. You can get new maps right now. And usually, that'll boost a game up to the top. And that's not happening here with Warzone. So, that makes me a little curious. And then Modern Warfare 2 as a jet, like as a whole, I don't... That's way down there. No one's playing that. That game gets abandoned real quick. Everyone just plays Warzone over and over. I personally don't understand the appeal of, <laughs> of Battle Royale games, but I understand I'm the outlier there. People love them. To me, I always saw them as too much walking, no action, but that's just me. If you enjoy them, that's fine. I'm not here to argue uh, game preferences with you. I just want to point out that the game is not really getting much of a boost from the DLC from what I can tell. Now, that might be a totally different story for consoles. I'm not sure. All I know is it doesn't look like the game is getting boosted from its DLC. What I can show you is that Activision is clearly worried about this because I want to show you something that they're doing. So... This is a post from 10 a.m., and, of course, if you check, everybody is saying, leave the children alone. But there's something else going on here that I think is kind of worth talking about. Let me do a refresh. Look what they're doing to try to get around this. So 59 minutes ago, they posted this. They had another one up there for a couple of days. They just posted this one. This one's already ratioed, but then two hours ago, they posted another one. Two hours ago, they posted another another one on top of that one. Three hours ago, another post. And then 19 hours, another post. So they're posting a lot of stuff on here to kind of, like, get away from the ratioed posts. So they're like, oh, we'll post this. And then look at this one. Three hours ago, that one's not ratioed, is it? So... It's a little thing they're trying to do to get away from this. I think they're trying to get people to get a little tired of going in here and messing with them and ratioing them, which means that they notice it, at least to me. Like, they've deleted tweets. They're posting over and over again, trying to get away from ratios and, and cleaning up old stuff. To me, that says they know what's going on, and they know they screwed up. 
But is this affecting sales of the DLC? I don't know. We, they'll never give us those numbers. That's the thing about DLC and digital is we get, we'll never know how well something does. All I can do is go by like this little bit of data that I can grab and say, all right, well, you know, not a lot of people are playing it on Steam and not a lot of people compared to the usual are watching it over on Twitch. I don't know where this game was yesterday, but like I said, it just had new stuff drop for it. You think it'd be up a little bit higher. Another thing I can tell you is the attempt to cancel the people that have given them the finger isn't working. Head on over to Nick Merckx's YouTube channel on Social Blade, and you can see that he's picked up about 20,000 subscribers since the 9th of June. Looks like he's getting a lot of support, and he was having kind of some slow months, to be honest, before all that happened. Now, I'm not saying he did what he did to get attention. I think he gave his honest opinion, and people are just showing support to the man because, well, not a lot of people are standing up to the bullshit that's going on right now. You see it again with his Twitter. Here's his Twitter. Look at all these, look at all these followers. Doesn't seem very canceled. Look at Dr. Disrespect. Uh, he's got a boost. 20,000 subscribers since the 7th. Go to his Twitter. Boom. Bringing back in followers. This is after, like, bleeding a little bit. So, it goes to show you, people, people aren't happy with what's going on right now. So, I don't know if the sales are being hurt for Activision, but they're acting kind of funky with a lot of the stuff going on right now. And every post that they'd make is still getting hit hard by people. This isn't a good look for them because of the fact that this brand is just not where it used to be. And they probably have lost customers. I just really wish you would see like a Bud Light effect hit them. And it's just not going to happen. Likely entertainment's weird. People are willing to give up beer, but not video games. And you don't even have to give up video games. There's so many other games out there to play, but everyone just keeps going back to this game. People have been playing this game for years. It's essentially the same game as 10 years ago. It just looks a little bit better. Not even that much better, to be honest. I really wish somebody would rise up and make a first-person shooter that would take this thing out. Anyway, that's where we're at with this. I just wanted to do a follow-up video and see where things are going. And it looks like, honestly, I don't I don't see much of a change in the game since all of this started. Just got a lot of people going after them on social media, which is a shame. I, I, I really would love to see how well this game is selling. Do you play this game? Do you know anyone that plays it? Did they not buy the DLC? If so, tell me in the comments below. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me also it's a good place to catch all of my content you don't have to worry about notifications like youtube they'll definitely work over here so come check out my locals